Hello people! Welcome back to my channel. It's Ebony Lala here and today I'm back with another video. It's just going to be a natural hair regrets video. Don't forget to click that notification button so you're notified every time I make a new video. Um, you don't want to miss out. Last week I told you guys in my uh, natural hair video that I will be straightening my hair before and getting a trim before I put in my braids and it has been about a year and a half since I've done that. Uh, probably biggest mistake ever. Um, I am definitely going to keep up with my trims, get my trims every three to four months because I had to cut off so much hair. It's annoying. Like, I feel like because my hair is so fine, the split ends um, split up faster. It just wasn't worth it. It will just keep getting worse. Who wants that? let me say prevention is better than cure let me say that one more time prevention is better than cure so if you could prevent the split ends from like you know being like longer because when your split ends split they split up so it's gonna just make it a lot more that you have to cut off so honestly just go and get your trim because I regret that my hair just yeah I'm wearing a protector style in right now but I'm definitely going to go get my trim after two or three months. Oh good lord, heat damage. Heat damage is a... I never had a perm or like a relaxer in my hair, but I always put heat to my hair. Always had the blow dryer, always had the hot comb, always had a, um, had a curling iron to my hair. So that really damaged my hair a lot. Like if, if I wet my hair, my hair would have been straight or like one little wave like it was it was just so bad that was a, that's a that was a one of my biggest regrets like that's another big one for me like heat damage is just ew that's all I have to say ew <laughs> um I just I don't mess with heat damage at all I had heat damage before I did my big chop and I'm not really trying to have it now um so I just basically removed all heat from my kit. I threw out my straightener. I don't blow dry my hair. And yeah, the only time I got it blow dried was last week from my hairdresser. So all I'm saying is, yeah, heat is just not the one for me. I don't think my hair reacts well with heat. Um, well, it does react well with heat. I'm just saying it, it just, I don't like how it damages my hair and then I'm not able to rock my hair the way I want to. Um, when you when you start to go on your journey of your hair journey you definitely start to realize certain things with your hair and what your hair agrees with and what it doesn't some people are able to take heat and like their hair reverts back perfectly and some people like me I know like if I flat iron my hair a bit too much like probably five days in a row in a week it's probably gonna be flat and now I don't like flat hair so that's not gonna be me. Um, Another one of my uh, hair regrets are having too many stylists in my head. Before I did the big chop, I had way too many people in my hair. Um, I get my hair braided by any old Joe. Um, I was kind of just, oh, this person could do my hair, that person could do my hair. Once you're going to a bunch of different hairdressers, that's when your hair starts to go out of whack. One per I have one person to braid my hair, one person that does my natural hair, one person that does my weave, but... I don't think I'm ever going to be doing weave anytime soon, so yeah, that's kind of other question, but... Um, so I wouldn't suggest it when you, and when like you have so many different hairstylists, they suggest a totally, a, a bunch of different stuff, they have a, a different way of doing things, and sometimes it doesn't agree with your hair, and they sometimes they want to fix what another hairstylist done, and it's just, it's too much. So if you just go back to the, if you find a good hairstylist, just keep going to them and just done the long talking because you don't need to be all over the place but that's just me that's something i definitely regret before i did my big chop but now i'm pretty stable and i just go to my one two people that i can trust and maybe maybe i'll go somewhere else if i get recommended but i highly doubt it well some sorry some hairdresser hairstylists do just exactly what you say and they don't suggest um certain styling st certain styles or things like that to your hair when they know what kind of hair you have i've had an experience with um i went to a lady and i asked for like huge braids and these braids literally my edges 
like were ripped out these braids were so heavy okay i love them they did look great but when i took out my hair i feel like my edges were so thin so my my the perimeter of my head looks so thin uh it's now obviously back to normal i've started only doing smaller braids um with a lot lighter hair i was using expression expression is a no-go for me i I do not mess with expression. I do not do it. Don't ask me. Don't say the only hair you use is expression because, girl, if the only hair you use is expression, like, are you not versatile? I don't understand. Also, I just want to talk about hair nourishment. I feel like um, nourishing my hair in protective styles uh, is a lot easier, especially when I do have it in braids. Um, I don't really like. I feel like I lack hair nourishment, especially when I do do a weave or something of, of that sort because I feel like I'm not able to get in the roots properly and stuff like that. But all I have to say honestly is that dealing with your natural hair is definitely a learning experience. So any mistakes that you have, just because I say it is a regret, it definitely did teach me something. So I'm, I'm not upset that those things happened to me but i am realizing now and reflecting on what's going on and how to better my hair and make sure it stays in a healthy state and these are some things that i feel like definitely held me back a little bit more but helped me push forward and have a better outcome with my natural hair you know i dealt with you the nicest nobody touched me